Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, Virgos, let's get into this reading. Straightforward here. All everything you need, links to book readings with me and all that other jazz in the description box below. Uh, join the channel, etc. Okay, let's get into this. What are the messages here for Virgo for October 2022? Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Please smash that like and subscribe button, by the way, you guys. If you haven't done so already, um, if you like this channel, help support the channel. Greatly appreciated. Okay, what are the messages here for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus for the month of October. Okay. Ooh, you've got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, maliciousness, looking over the shoulder and the other woman or the other guy. Okay, somebody could just simply be a year of the snake, born in the year of the snake. If you don't know what your Chinese sign is, just Google Chinese signs, year. Um, uh, just Google Chinese signs. You learn all about yourself. It's really very, very informative and it pairs beautifully with your Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so you've got a snake situation going on here. <gasps> Twin flame. What the heck? Yin Yang Zen balance union oh okay what is go oh okay virgo now this i feel like this is going to be a separate message if it ties into the rest of the reading then it ties in okay there's a twin flame connection here for sure okay um hmm but somebody is being very very sneaky okay let me see you could have a connection with someone and there's a third party involved and for some of you that third party is not the twin flame you are the twin flame you are the you are the other half okay you are the yin to somebody's yang they are to yours let me just get into here okay there's two people that really complement each other um but there's um like an element of like a lack of trust so maybe there's a very difficult twin flame type of connection with another person okay where it's like is this your false twin flame for some of you this could be a false twin flame you might think oh no this is my person but they might be coming in with a little bit of deception and malicious behavior okay <laughs> all right yeah there you go sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out what the heck this is going to be a reading let me tell you guys okay hmm all right so for some of you you do have a connection with someone who is not your false twin flame okay let's clear the board with that you do have a connection with someone and you know this is your person and they know that you are theirs and this is a connection that is beautiful there is someone though i'm feeling a third party there is someone on the outskirts of this connection you can call it twin flame you could call it you know soul flame you can call it your soulmate whatever you want to call it it's your other half there's another person outside of this relationship who is stalking the f out of you and this other and your other half okay that is the that is straight across the board the biggest message that i'm getting that's gonna like that's resonating i feel like for 90 percent. the other 10 you do have a twin flame who you think is your twin and they are a false okay um but I, we're not going to get into that because i want to tell you something if if you are not sure about someone then that's not your person all right if you're not sure about a person if you have any seeds of doubt and you feel like your gut is screaming fear and there's something like you don't feel safe that's not your person i don't care in what realm you don't feel safe emotional physical and so on your true twin flame your person where there is even though there's growth and even though there is a mirroring energy and even though there can be challenges you will still know that this is the person for you despite the challenges and i'm not talking about being an enabler okay so what i feel like here is going on is there is another person in your life and there's someone outside of this relationship who is stalking who is causing trouble causing drama okay they're watching they're looking um focusing and really trying to like mm, 
there's obsessive energy there's a, there's a third person who is obsessed with you and your person with you and your partner okay um and there is i feel like your your twin flame your person your other half knows about this third party or that they get watched a lot and I feel like your person is trying to keep things under the radar between you and them because there's a lot of ex external influence that could really disrupt this connection and your person doesn't want interference by other people and they are trying to protect you from external influences, negative external influences, snake-like energy, okay? So we're gonna leave that there, okay? We're, we're, for right now, we're gonna leave that there, okay? Because I feel like some of you might need some clarity in regards to whatever this situation is. You might feel like some your like your person is hiding you or not talking uh, or not sharing you with other people. It's more in the form of protecting what's sacred. You know, when you have something sacred, like a very expensive uh, gem, you will cushion that in as much safety as possible so that it does not get tainted it's protection okay you're being protected okay all right let me get into the rest of this reading my goodness virgo what the heck what a way to start happy monday what a way to start okay let me see well maybe some of you might be hearing this on tuesday but all right what else does virgo need to know whatever spirit wants you, virgo to know whatever spirit wants you to know virgo Give us the messages. Let Bert, let Virgo know what is going on. For some of you, you do have someone that you're connected with who's born in the year of the snake, and they are watching you. Okay. So the Knight of Swords. This is a very aggressive energy coming towards you from external. Very aggressive. Some, there's something somebody wants to communicate to you. Now show us more here. Oh, wow. Okay. Some gossip. All right. There's some gossip. There's, there's some drama. <laughs> Virgo, there's some drama going on here. There's people talking. People are talking. Okay. Mm. I also feel like somebody's trying to come and connect with you. Okay. Somebody is circling back around. That's what they just told me. Somebody is circling back around. Somebody's trying to connect with you, Virgo. Okay. Um, there's some somebody or some people. There's something coming back circling back around maybe something that you thought was you know you got over this you got done with this this gossip this drama this person these people nope circling back around in october okay what's going on yeah look i feel okay well the first message i'm getting they're saying is that you're really focusing on putting something behind you um closing a chapter you're not dealing with any bs in october you're like nope nope boy bye girl bye keep it moving okay i really feel like that that's your energy right here um but while you are focusing on the things that you are doing in your life there is communication people are gosh i don't even know so i know some of you are not on social media but there is some talk on social media about you and another person like a, a connection that you have with somebody else a romantic connection or have had okay there's there's this people are like won't shut the f up uh, is there jealousy yes there's gaslighting um yes i feel like there's like this like Maybe it's another woman or another guy who's trying to interfere in a connection that you have with someone. There's competition, for sure, for your person. And your person, I feel their energy is like, uh, they're trying to protect you from this. They're tr they're tr this person is trying to shield you from any kind of attacks that external influences are going are, are, are trying to come in here right so that you virgo can keep doing what you're doing in your life it's it's interesting like i just feel like somebody here and it's such a strange message i just feel like somebody here is 
they don't want you affected like you're very precious to them okay interesting so as far as we have signs here we have air water earth okay specifically leo aquarius taurus and scorpio okay so let me see here okay the death card okay i feel like your person is trying to smash this imbalance there's an emotional roller coaster this person is trying to head it off so that it doesn't affect you okay and why why because i feel like this person is trying to couple with you they are trying your person is trying to come into balance and into union that twin flame they know that you're the one for them and they want you by their side for the rest of their life this is how this this is how they feel about you but there's things that need to be put into place first before that comes about okay there may be people who disagree with this connection well there's not may they, they, they there are there's gossip there's people talking there's a lot and i see a lot of that coming into play in october where there's people who want to come in and try to drive a wedge your person is like very well aware and i feel like they're kind of saying to themselves like i need to put an end to this uh, or find a way to distract everybody with the juggle show so that they don't come after you <laughs> and I'm, I'm not feeling like you know it's going to be i don't want to say the word because i might get um demonetized it i don't feel it's dangerous okay um so i don't feel like you need to like go into a witness protection program or anything i feel like it's more words it's more words it's rumor it's gossip okay and i feel like your person's like gonna stand in front of everybody and try to distract them with the with the circus and the juggle show do a little dance and a performance so everyone just it's like deterrent they're gonna try to deter anyone from getting to you my goodness virgo this is crazy this is so much craziness okay let me see yes look five of wands in the tower i mean the messages speak for themselves right you know look at this because the conflict can just destroy everything i what is the deal who is this person you know they're trying to, to tell everybody like everything like if there's anybody in the in your periphery or connected to you in this person who disagrees with this relationship for whatever reason I feel like your person's gonna is trying in October to just balance things out and say, you know, mind your business. Everything's fine. Um, everything's good. Everything's stable. Everything's balanced. <laughs> they uh, like they're gonna fight back and destroy whoever tries to come in and hurt you. Or it's it's very like hero protective mode or heroine protective mode here. Um, they're gonna try to. Uh, their their attempt is like if anybody tries to like they're gonna well, i can't talk today hello because i feel this energy of aggression they're gonna do a little like juggle dance and just kind of distract be a deterrent everything's fine don't worry about it hey did you hear about this new movie and change the subject so that people don't ask questions but if there is a problem and there's like a lot of game playing and and we're seeing competition or people trying to come in and and disrupt this connection your person's like bam they're going to put them in their place and like destroy it break the ego out of nowhere okay why is this person what is the feeling that this person has for virgo like i mean obviously the twin flame is here okay this is like a union this is like um you compliment each other but what what are the feelings like who is this person coming in with this giant protective like sword energy okay so queen of cups right there um cancer scorpio pisces i was asking for a person and that's what i got okay male or female energy a court card so this is someone you know for some of you okay i know you're like well listen i don't have anybody i'm single as a pringle okay fine it could be a parent who's protecting a child it could be a sister who's protecting a sibling 
um, or a brother, a sibling protecting a sibling. Um, could be a child protecting a parent. Um, it could be a friend standing up for you, protecting your relationship. Okay, so keep that in mind. I know not everybody is connecting with someone. I know some of you are. Some of you might be single and your twin flame comes in and there's like this recognition in October, like, wow, you two are like, boom, you hit it off. And it's so amazing. Like the Queen of Cups energy, it doesn't matter what your person's sign is. If you know them, if you haven't met them, it could be a water sign, but they're coming in with very deep feelings. The Queen of Cups is very deep, like deep emotions, um, loving okay um for some of you let me see you might have met this person you know during cancer season for some of you like june or july uh for some in 2021 you might have already met them okay or there was a connection that was made but this person has very deep warm loving feelings they want to nurture you and nurture this connection your your love relation this person loves you like it's straight Point blank period. I mean, this person is just in love with you. They don't want anyone to come in. They're fighting and they're battling. Okay, for others, we have a king of swords. Holy shiz. Okay. Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so it's either a water sign or an air sign. Okay. All right. Wow. So for some of you also, this could be two people. Okay, not romantic. Two people external to you who are supporting you okay and fighting your they're con they're going to come in and go to bat for you and fight your battles for you okay in your love life right um let me see all right yeah see this person whichever sign doesn't matter we've got male and female energy here I feel like this person wants everyone to leave you or will want, of course, going into October, want everyone to leave you and them alone, okay? They're going to, like, put the cat out in the cold, <laughs> put the dog out in the backyard. I was just going to say chain it up. Please don't chain your dog out in the backyard, okay? <laughs> I mean, a cat's got to go out, right? Dog has to go out, but chaining them in the yard is, is very inhumane to animals, so please don't do that. So I don't know why... <laughs> I feel like somebody might still be doing that. So, you know, anyway, yeah, leave people out in the cold. Just like give the impression like it's barren here. There's nothing. You know, there's this old saying. Um, if people are trying to get into your business or they are trying to infiltrate your life, you know, the more you the more you offer out to people, the more ammunition you give them when you offer up all of your personal information people are can be nasty and they will use it against you you you, you just you got to be careful with your personal info so the way you handle that situation and i feel like your person this is how they handle that is they keep everybody at bay they they give them that gray rock like they give them a little bit of information enough for them for those other people to chew on but that that's it okay and they might keep recycling and regurgitating that same information your person is giving the poker face they, and so you some of you i'm just hearing there's they're saying tell virgo it's not what you think it is tell virgo not to think that this person is hiding you because they've got other people on the side um that they're in other relationships with. I'm not picking up deceptive energy here. You might feel like, oh, if this person isn't going to show me off and show me off on, you know, whatever, or, or like put me up on a pedestal and let the whole world know about me, then they must be hiding something or they're up to something. They're protecting. That's the message that I'm getting. Um, this person is protecting you. And I know that might be a hard pill for you to swallow, okay? Because some of you have been in, some probably really deceptive situations and it might feel the same way but spirit's saying you need to look at this from a different angle okay the way i was explaining like that gemstone you know um all of your precious jewels <laughs> right guys are covered they're tucked and covered because we don't want that exposed to the element uh ladies as well we don't want that out in the air flying around like one of those tire um air 
monstery things that blow in the wind, right? Like, ah, my shit's all out here and everyone can have access to it. No, this person is like, no. Somebody does not want the whole world having access to you. It's protection. And and I feel like their energy is like, if you, their, you your person's energy is saying to other people, if you want access to my person, you're going to have to go through me first. You're going to have to go through me first. So I don't know if this is like a bodyguard situation for you or someone who's just very territorial, um, but not they're not trying to keep you up on a shelf or hide you um, and then come pull you down whenever they want you. This is more like protection to keep you safe. What? 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 Okay. There you go. See, listen, Virgo, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pent Let me explain a real quick to you, okay? As soon as I said safe, the Ten of Pentacles popped out. Ten of Pentacles always reminds me of like a bank, an institution, money, um, inheritance, things that are valuable that you want to keep in a safe place, okay? Um, a marriage, a business. These are things that we invest in and we build upon and we build upon until we reach that final like we've got this is like retirement like we've got everything saved um we want to protect that from other people and i feel like your person views your relationship as something that they want to protect and giving out the vibe to everybody else no no there's nothing going on here there's nothing like it's i know it's crazy but i'm, I'm picking up very strong protective vibes Okay, I still want to get in a little bit more how this person sees Virgo because I want to take a look a little bit more at their view on you. Like, why are they protecting you so much? Oh, because you are, you're worthy. You're worth it to them. Nobody else is as worth it to them as you are. Like, there's nobody that can compare. Okay, that Knight of Pentacles energy is, is like, this is an investment that, they want to, I know I'm, I sound like I'm talking about business and stocks, but this is an investment this person wants to have for the rest of their life. This is long-term security. Okay, so Queen of Wands energy. Wow, this person, you're like a wish come true for them, okay? They see you, even though, now some of you, I, I know, could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, but this person views you as like, that Queen of Wands energy is super hot. It's not just, you know, this is like you're untouchable. This person does not want anyone to touch you or to be like, they're okay with you being, I know this sounds so bad. This person is okay. They want you to follow your dreams and they will support you in all, everything and anything you want to do. But there is this very alpha energy I pick up from your person, okay, when it comes to you. They might not even be that way in general, but when it comes to you, this person's energy is like, no, Virgo, you're mine. But it's not in like, I'm going to, you know, chain you in the basement and come down with bread every once in a while. This is more like, this is my guy, this is my girl, and I am going to nourish this relationship. This is my twin flame. Do everything I can to protect this relationship from any kind of, like, I know some of you, like, you kind of vacillate between, yeah, that's what I want. Somebody who's like that, and they're going to, and others are like, no, I'm independent. You can't tell me what to do. Like, you got to pick a lane. If this isn't for you, then that's a choice you're making. It doesn't mean that this person doesn't feel this way, but it's, it. I feel like, for, for this reading and the messages they're giving me is that this person, you are like a wish come true for them. Okay. In fact, so much so that you are almost unattainable to them. It's almost with the eight of cups. It's kind of like they're in dream world here when it comes to you. Like you are so valuable, like a precious gem to them. And they view you as being so super attractive, fiery, passionate, hot, <laughs> and definitely independent and popular, okay? And you, Virgo, might be like, that isn't even me at all. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, I'm in a hermit mode. I sit in my house. I don't do anything. Well, just because you don't see yourself that way doesn't mean this person doesn't. And that is how they see you. And they have in their mind that they don't it's almost like you're like famous they view you as and this person does not want other people 
it's protection. <laughs> I mean, maybe some of you hired a bodyguard. I don't know. The hook. I don't know. Okay, but no, this person is super, super sweet on you. Okay, could be a fire sign for some of you. Super, super sweet. And it's like, I look at those sunglasses and I'm seeing like secret service. I'm, you know, they have them sunglasses on and the like walking around protection. They're watching, they're looking at everyone around, making sure that nobody's trying to like come near you or <laughs> what are you doing Virgo? Virgo's like, no, I'm in hermit mode. I don't even know what's going on. Like, uh, like this is I don't even understand this reading, Kelly. I'm clicking off. I'm telling you. So some of you might be like, this is not resonating. Okay, well, October, come, you'll be back. October, you'll be back. And like, oh shit, this reading is resonating. Okay. <laughs> let me get, let me get, I need to get, we need to get a little love in here. <laughs> we need to get a little love in here. What's going on with the romance angels and the love messages? Oh my gosh. I can't. I really can't. All right, Spirit, show us what the love messages are here. Come on. Okay, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here with you and this person. What? Okay, I know some of you are like, I don't even know who this is. And others, like, this energy is just going to, it's just going to come out in October. Okay, right now, things might be dead in the water. Uh, nothing's happening. You don't know where your twin flame is, or you know that they're your twin flame, but you've dumped them or you've gotten rid of them because for whatever reason, you're just not talking. Stuff's going to shift. Stuff is going to shift. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> okay, yep, release your ex. Some of you are like, no, I'm, you got, you were like, no, I got done. I'm done with this. Okay. Um, this energy, this releasing energy, if that's something that you've done, if, if it was your ex and it was twin flame, it was very tumultuous, some of you released it, definitely. But this this release, it, it's like the tides, okay? The water flows back out, and when the water flows back out, then the water comes back in, and the moon has all the effect. The moon and the water represent the emotions and the cycles of change. And I feel like even though some of you might be like, no, I let go of that twin flame. No, this person is coming in hard and fast with that knight of swords. Hard and fast. Aggressive with some type of communication and, and speed. Okay? They, either they're coming to talk to you and tell you what's going on here and explain some stuff to you that you may have misconstrued or didn't understand. Okay. Yep. Past life relationship. So this is definitely somebody coming back in. And again, caveat, I say this all the time, Virgo. Uh, you don't have to take this person back, right? You still have free will. So just because they're coming in doesn't mean you have to accept it okay that's where your free will is you know if you tell me oh this isn't my reading therefore it's not going to happen well that's bull because i'm telling you it's going to happen and and it, you know it's i'm like the weatherman you know hey tomorrow it's going to rain oh really yeah but guess what you can either choose to go outside with an umbrella or you can just stay in and shut all your windows and close your blinds and therefore it won't rain in your mind but trust me when I tell you it's going to rain, it's going to rain. It's raining outside. <laughs> All right. Let's get a couple other messages here for you. Okay. You've got a lover, loving older female. Okay. So what this means is someone who comes in very yin energy. You might be a yang. Okay. You've got someone who comes in in very yin energy here. Nourishing. Loving. Okay. Queen of Cups energy. Okay, even if it's male, if somebody's coming in very yin, very loving towards you. This is the description of this person. Older, as in they could be older than you, okay, male or female, or they just are very wise and tremendously mature, okay? Um, but that comes in with that water energy. Now listen, water is, water flows, okay? Water represents the emotions. The tears that come out of your eyes, that's water flowing. Some people who don't have tears coming out of their eyes, it doesn't mean the, their, their feelings aren't there. It's just that, you know, water can crash or it can flow, right? Water can be in the form of flowing gently and softly, or it can be in the form of like a tidal wave, 
okay? Um, water can be uh, always in movement or it can be ice, okay? I don't know why I need to tell you that. There's just these different properties of water. I feel like this person, they may be um, a little reserved in their emotions for some of you, okay? In other words, have them very, very deeply for you. And I feel like, yeah, because who else is going to go out of their way to protect you like this and save this relationship and put it on such a pedestal and love you like this if they didn't have very deep relationships? This is not this is a connection, this twin flame thing, not for the faint of heart, not for the faint of heart. This is deep. This is very, very deep. Okay. Some of you have a financial decision you're going to be making in October. Um it's going to come up and you're going to be pressed to make a decision. Okay, what else? All right, fear and anxiety in reverse is leaving you. Okay, wow, interesting. Um, fear and anxiety is leaving you. Okay, hmm. All right, so some of you, I'm just hearing, now this might be related to this, might not. Some of you may have felt like your person was non committal, but that's not the case. Okay, this twin flame connection. They're saying um, this person came across as non-committal, but I don't feel like they truly are. I don't feel like this person, they might have been in the past, but there's some kind of shift and changing, uh, a change here going on with this person where um, they may have had a lot of fear and anxiety about that, but their fear and anxiety is being removed. You know, there's a task here in front of this person as far as this really, this is not someone who's casual with their relationship. And if your past person who you thought was your twin flame was very casual, I don't feel like that might have been your false twin. You you may have a twin flame for some showing up here in October who is not very casual about relationships. This person is like, once they're in it, they're in it and there's no letting go with you. Okay, let me see what these messages of love here. Okay, retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And here and now your true love is already a part of your life. Okay. So some of you, like I said, you already know who this person is. They want to be more than friends. If you're if you're friends with this person, yeah, no, this person might be giving off vibes. Some of you might not have a relationship, a romantic relationship with someone that you're friends with, but you're like, hmm, something's weird. The way this person acts around me, they seem like it's there. There's more than that. Okay, they don't just act like a casual friend now because this person wants. 100% once more. Okay, so let me see. I want to see what your moonology messages are here. What are Virgo's moonology messages? Okay, emotions are running high. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this person, very, very, very deep emotions for you. And like I said, they may wear, wear a poker face, but man, these rivers run deep with this person for you. There's just this protection energy coming up in October. And I feel like somebody here, your person, maybe making is making a decision, not maybe, making a decision to come into union with you, but they're putting things in place before doing that because there's a lot that's going to come with this. A lot. A lot of backlash. Okay, so your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. All right, so yeah, somebody's got big plans. I feel like you're going to be super duper surprised with that tower card there. And showing the world the real you. Okay, interesting. Because we were talking about someone not showing. Um, I feel like this person, and let me just give you the message that's just coming through here. I feel like this person, they're not going to keep you hidden to the point where your person looks single. No, it's going to be known, okay? But access to you is going to be minimized because of protection measures that need to come in. And I don't, I don't know why, um, 
what this person's overall situation is that they need to do that it could just be they have family members who are extremely awful they don't want you to like they don't want their family engaging with you because they don't want you to be stained or damaged it could just be their environment or their work situation or other people external to them okay they will show you show everyone show the world that they are partnered with you and that this is it and when I say partner that's an umbrella term for for some marriage for some exclusivity long-term commitment um, making it known changing the pro the social media status for some if that's important for you whatever it might be there's there this person kind of goes off baseline from their norm but I do feel like yeah they're gonna show who you are that you are real and you exist and you are theirs but like I said they're they're not going to access to you is going to be minimized like I said others are going to have to go through them first <laughs> okay all right so let me get a couple of oh we got oh we got to do the Chinese signs right you guys love the Chinese signs let's see let's get a little more so we already had the snake showing up here let's see what is your person's chinese sign what other chinese signs are showing up here for virgo yours theirs okay year of the dog year of the rabbit year of the monkey year of the rooster year of the horse year of the tiger and there's the snake okay year of the rat we have tiger again okay year of the ox interesting we have a lot of like farm animals going on here roosters oxes <laughs> except for the tiger horse dog rabbit <laughs> except for the tiger and the monkey there's a little somebody might be from like um uh i'm just hearing africa south africa with these tigers and monkeys or india okay <laughs> they just gave me an image of a panda bear why am i seeing a panda bear all right let's see let's get your signs all right taurus capricorn aquarius aries taurus capricorn aquarius and aries okay what other signs are showing up here for virgo oh my god this reading i've never done a reading like this okay libra aquarius again twice and cancer all right one more one more roll of the dice okay leo sagittarius and capricorn and libra again okay so we've got somebody born in 1983 okay We've got the number 11 twin flame connection okay somebody's born um february 20th there's a cusp between aquarius and pisces um okay 1996 very significant day okay somebody's birthday is on the 8th what else okay 1011 always I feel like that always comes out one zero one one all right somebody's 54 fit between 52 and 54 uh, um, so I'm also picking up the age 45 and uh, 61 okay and do a, cu a couple more of these and then I'm gonna do your charms okay hmm 2002 1972 okay the number 310 somebody might be born they might be a Pisces March 10th 1999 and they're giving me um, <clears throat> 729 okay 729 and also okay somebody's getting snow in October like enough snow they'd be able to build a snowman okay like that there's like i feel like there's gonna be oh okay and then they just said i-80 i-80 maybe somebody lives near there i-80 all right let me get your charms i-80 okay 
Okay, what charms does Virgo need to have at this time? Oh, okay, we got a sucker here. <laughs> a lollipop. Okay, a lollipop. Again with the strawberry or taffy. I'm picking up taffy. Or maybe somebody's name is Tammy. Um, hmm. Yeah, but I'm just feeling like like a sucker. Okay, maybe you're maybe you got a lollipop going on thing happening in your mouth right now. Are you chewing some bubble gum? Oh, they just gave me um oh a blow pop. <laughs> Don't go there. Um it's like the it, it's like a lollipop but it, when you get into the center it's got chewing gum like bubble gum in it. <laughs> you might be looking at it, maybe you'll see one later. Blow pop. I know you guys not all of you have them everywhere but it's mostly in the United States um, so then we also have like a dog bone okay that's interesting what the heck oh okay they just said um, <laughs> you need to give okay weird some of you need to start giving treats to your dog to train them which I'm sure most of you do anyway but you've got something going on with a pet that they are not behaving something's going on or they broke a pattern or they they've become a little too dominant okay so they're saying train your dog with positive reinforcement with treats strange message i don't have a dog i don't have a cat so that's specific for somebody here and um you know i, I get like okay and then they're saying ink blot and ink blot or somebody's getting a t okay be careful so, all right, here you go. They said, if you are someone who likes to get tattoos or you're thinking of getting one, make sure that the person who does them, um, because I'm seeing um, some ink on tattoo, okay, that like leaks or something, it leaks. Or maybe you're going to get a tattoo redone because it's fall fallen apart. Also, um, be careful if you put your pen if there's a, there's a leaky pen i'm just hearing a leaky pen <laughs> and all right this is weird this is like one of those craft tricks there's something about um oh my goodness this is so like simple messages use the gum to remove something they just said use the gum bubble gum to remove something I don't know what that means there's something or use the gum to hang something up like because it's sticky something about the sticky substance of the of bubble gum or something will adhere something that you're trying to I don't know hang out hang up or you don't have like a push pin or you don't have any tape they're saying use bubble gum whatever you do whatever you got to do I mean if you're wrapping gifts bubble gum will work and it'll probably smell nice and it's like an extra bonus right um okay and they also just said, Virgo, you need to throw someone a bone. Like you need to cut somebody some slack in October. Um, cut them some slack, like chill, cut them some slack. That's what they just said. I'm not telling you to do that. I don't know who it is. Like go easy on somebody in October. My stomach is growing. I have to go eat. All right, you guys. Love you very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Do check out the chor shorts. I am uploading shorts every day now, like short messages. So definitely check them out. There, it's just a, a little added bonus because I know I'm only here once a day, but it's a little extra something, something for you guys. All right. Love you very much, Virgo. Hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye. <laughs>